Well, hello guys, you know I don't feel too bad, so I'm going to try making a video. Now here's a femon, she's 22 years of age. And she's an escort. Well, we know what that is, don't we guys? And she likes to drink, and dress in skimpy clothes, and go to parties. And of course, males to pay for having sex with her. So she's having a bit of a ball. And just remember, nobody's forced her into this lifestyle. She does it because of money, greed, and it's easy. Then she was told she was going to Pakistan. Then Quata, then Ireland. But unfortunately in Pakistan at the airport, they found drugs in her luggage. 19 pounds of heroin to be exact. But of course she had no idea how they got there. But of course they always ask you in immigration, don't they, did you pack your own bags? Presumably she said yes. And all of a sudden reality comes a-knocking. And of course the tears start to flow. And Pakistan doesn't like drug smugglers, or mules as they call them, and didn't believe her story, and she got eight years in jail. But of course being a femon, she only did four of those years, and then was freed. And now she's back in her own country again, I, I think it's the Czech Republic or something. And she admits that she was young and silly, but she prays to God that the gang boss that did this to her will pay. You see guys, no accountability. Somebody did this to her. She is the victim. The reason why she was where she was with what she had and why she got charged is because of her own decisions she made herself. Nobody forced her. She did it because it was easy money. So really she should blame herself. But of course, Femons don't do that. They blame somebody else, anybody else, generally a male. And now she's back home, butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. Look, she can cook some cakes and stuff. I mean, what a model citizen. She's even found a man willing to take her on and become her fiancé. And she herself admitted she's been with hundreds if not thousands of men for money. I have no idea where these white knights come from. They must be pretty damn desperate. And absolutely have no respect for themselves at all. He may have a femon that doesn't look too bad on the outside, but she's really used goods. But being a femon, it must be lovely going through life without taking any accountability or responsibility for their actions. I mean, I might rob a bank tomorrow and just blame it on my ex fiance We had a terrible relationship. She was quite abusive. Of course, she says she was quite stupid as a younger person, but that doesn't excuse the facts, does it? Being stupid. That could be pretty much all of them. Nine times out of ten, femons get themselves into situations because of the choices that they make. Nobody else. Of course, the scenario wouldn't work the same with a male, would it? Would he get eight years, and would he be out in four? Or would he get fifteen years, and be out in ten, maybe? Anyway, I'll put a link to the news item down below. You know I'd respect Femons a lot more if they take their responsibility and accountability for what they do. Of course, the trouble is that morality isn't a strong trait in Femons, and they'll do anything for money. Because their greed knows no bounds, does it? And this Femon probably thinks she spent four years in jail for something she didn't do. Maybe she didn't put the drugs in her own luggage, but nobody gives somebody a free holiday for nothing. So she knew the score, for sure. She just thought she'd never get caught. I mean, she's a princess, right? Well, I don't know, maybe it's just a guess of mine, but I don't think the relationship is going to last. As they say, a leopard never changes its spots, does it? Take it easy, fellas. Meow.